Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a prison tutorial. Now, this is only the actual building of the prison and the little perimeter surrounding it, the watchtowers and the fences and stuff. This isn't the tutorial for the actual inside of the prison. That is going to be a separate tutorial which will be posted not too long from now. So, look out for that in both the card system and in the description below once this has been on the channel for a few days. It won't follow too far behind this actual video and something that I do want to point out it's surprising to me how similar the prison and the school are in terms of layout I don't know what that says about me or whether it says something about the similarities between prison and school if you want to make the prison here's what you're going to need you will need some polished andensite grab some stone bricks you'll also need some iron bars and some stone brick stairs. Also grab some stone brick slabs. You'll also need, I can't believe I almost forgot these, you will also need some regular bricks. And grab yourself some white stained glass paint. And we will be needing quite a few more materials, but for the main building here, I think that we're probably okay. So once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, Guys, this is a massive build, can't even tell you how big it is, so make sure you've got a lot of room. You want to kick off your prison with a row of 8 stone bricks coming directly up from the ground. That's 8, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, take that 8th block and go to the right of it by 9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Connect that 9th block down to the ground like this, and then return your way back up to this ninth block. Then go right of this ninth block again by 9, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then connect that ninth block to the ground, then return back up to this ninth block. We now want to go right of this ninth block by 8, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then connect that 8th block all the way down to the ground. We then want to return back up to this 8th block and we want to go right of it by 9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then connect that 9th block down to the ground. And finally, we want to come back up to this 9th block, go right of it by a further 9. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then connect that down to the ground. So we want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. Five empty, sort of squarish spaces in a row. What we now want to do is this. On top of each one of those blocks that we have connected to the ground, we want to go on top of them each by seven. And we also want to connect them together. The easiest way to do, the, to do this is going to be this. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What we'll then do is we'll drag the seventh block all the way over to the right hand side and then we'll connect individually each one of those blocks that touch the ground up to this row that we've made. So we're accomplishing the same thing except in a much more timely manner. So we're just now going to connect each one of those blocks all the way up to the big massive row that we have and it'll end up looking a little something like... Let's take a step back here. A little something like this. Perfect. Now, this is the front of the prism. The way that we're going to distinguish this is like this. So, can you see this center section? This one that's a little smaller than the rest. Well, we want to take this center section, which is going to be this corner block and this one right here, kind of like the center of these two plus shapes, and the ones above it, and we want to extend out each one of these plus shaped blocks out by 8 towards us. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We also want to connect them together. We want to connect them to the ground. And we want to do, like I may have mentioned, the exact same thing to the two corner blocks just above them. Except this time we don't really have to count them out because we've already counted it out once. So we just want to drag them out until they're equal connect them down, connect them together, and this will form the front of the prison. And this is kind of like, th this is the entrance. This is, this is basically it. So we just want to have something which should look like that. 
Now, once you've got that taken care of, we're going to shape the prison. And to do this, we're going to come behind here. And what we want to do is this. And it's very important that we do it to every single one of these blocks. And the reason for this is it's going to help shape the prison. This will become more apparent later. So we want to take each one of the corner blocks and we want to extend them towards us each by 10. So coming out of the back of the prison and the corner blocks are these. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's like every single other one of these that touches the floor in the row. And then the top row as well. You guys surely know what I'm talking about. And that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm not going to count out that row of 10 again. I'm just going to estimate. So I know that those first two rows are 10. And now instead of having to count to, I don't know, like 8, 80 in total or something, I'm just going to use all of those other rows to measure where I have to place these other rows. And we also have to do the same thing to the top layer of stone bricks. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to connect each one of these individually together and individually to the ground. You know what, I should connect them together first. The reason being is just to make sure that these are all actually equal length. And we'll only know that once the first two have been connected together. So far it's looking quite good, there we go. So now we can connect them down and then we can do the top layer. We're going to have to do this sort of thing two individual times. This prison is actually quite big. I don't know whether you can tell from just the thumbnail, but the prison, it, it it's quite large. It's quite large and it's split into little sections like this, which is why we're building it like this. So um, we're now doing the same thing with the top row. It might actually be easier if we raise up these corner blocks first and then kind of like connect them together at the top. Um, so as a prison, uh, you might imagine that there's cells and stuff. So it's quite handy if we actually separate um, the framework, which is what this is, it's quite handy if we actually separate the framework into, like, tiny little boxes and stuff. I mean, most of the rooms are, you know, they're the exact same shape and they're big, giant, rectangular boxes. There's a, there's no fancy rooms in a prison, believe it or not. It's all, it's all very generic, it's all very dark, it's all uninteresting, it's all, it's all very... You know, it's, it's not colourful, it's very dull, it's it's kind of spirit-breaking, and that's why the building is so easy, really, and that's why it's, uh, it's a really, really dark-looking, harrowing, disturbing place that you probably wouldn't want to go for your summer holiday. So, you can see that we have ex we've kind of like given the prison a bit of a shape now. This is coming towards the back of the prison. So, what we now want to do, once we've extended the back out by 10 rows and we've connected everything together, we now want to extend it once again, but this time by eight rows. So coming out of each one of these back blocks, we want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to count that out one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to connect these together. And you know what? The fastest way to do this, or the easiest way to do this, I'm going to take this block, I'm going to connect it over to the other side, and then I'm going to, like, connect everything together. So I think it'll be easier if we have this kind of, like, middle row. And this is going to provide everything we need. So we can now just connect um, each one of these blocks together. So we want to here and here connect down. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be the fastest way to do it. So, this is kind of like the center part of the prison that we're building. So, the first couple of, like, you see those, like, first um, box shapes that we have? Those are pretty much all cells. The center one is kind of like a reception slash uh, metal detection area, and the two center ones, and then the two like little quadrants either side of that, both the, yeah, on the on the ground floor at least, are going to be cell areas. Um, the two quadrants in the upper half of the prison are actually going to be on the left of the entrance, like left as we see it now. That is actually a, a solitary confinement area. And on the right hand side is actually a cafeteria area, I believe. I think it's cafeteria. Either that or it's a little visitor center. You know how you can have visitors in prison? Um, I can't remember which way around I, I actually decided to put it, but um, that's what those two little areas here. And 
This center section is actually all hallway, so the bit that we've just about made, we've just connect, got to connect them top to bottom. Um, this area that we're making now is like all of the hallways in the prison. So in between the cells, in between the recreational areas and all of that stuff, all the showers, we have hallways. That's what we've just made. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. Once again, coming out of the back of the prison, out of each one of the corner blocks, we want to have rows of 10 this time. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And actually, I don't have to count that out again because I know that's a row of 10. And I'm just going to build this up exactly how I built up all of the others. So on the ground floor, it's pretty much exclusively, other than the entrance to the prison, which is a lot of reception, and behind that is a metal detection area. Um, on the ground floor, all we have is cells, and also kind of like two exits on the side of the prison, which take us into the yard. That's how the prisoners get out. There's also one on the back as well. There's also a, um, a an entrance or an exit uh, to take you out onto the yard on the back and the sides. And other than that, it is just completely cells and a staircase which takes you up to floor number two. On floor number two, it's pretty much the showers, the solitary confinement, there's a security area. There's always security areas in prisons for whatever reason, or at least that's what I've gathered from movies. And there's also like the warden's office, and there's, what did I say, cafeteria, visitors, solitary confinement, warden's office showers there's that's that's pretty much all there is to it i didn't want to include all of the mundane rooms like kind of like you know where they do the clothes and where they get that stuff i i figured that i'd just leave it at that so i didn't do any kitchens or anything i just did like kind of like the cafeteria area where the prisoners would eat i didn't actually include like the like i don't know like deep freeze and deep storage and stuff where food would be kept so i uh I don't know whether I should have added that, I don't know whether I should have made the prison a little bit bigger and made it a bit more detailed, but I don't think it necessarily needs that. I uh, I actually think it's quite big as it is, and it's, it's, it's detailed enough, I think. I don't think that we've went too crazy. So, we want to have something which should so far look a little bit like this. It looks like a huge grid, and most noticeably, the center section of it is smaller than the other sections. It kind of forms like a cross shape. That's perfect, that's what we want to have. Now, once you've reached this point right here, this is what you want to do next. So, why don't we take care of the front and the back parts of this, and then we will... Yeah, is that what we'll do? Shall we take care of the front and back parts? We probably should. So, we'll take care of the entrance to the prison first of all. So, come all the way to the entrance. For the entrance here, we want to kind of like connect the bottom of the entrance together with stone bricks. Then we want to have, in the very center here, we want to have a row of, stone, of regular bricks that kind of like comes all the way up the top front of the prison, so it kind of like bisects this little section here. On the left and right of your bricks, you want to have polished and inside. So just do polished and inside either side of the bricks. We then want to, for the entrances, we kind of want to leave two spaces at the bottom here. So we just want to leave two spaces at the bottom, either side of the end and site. And then we want to make the rest of the area glass. So in the vertical row, we just want to have it glass all the way other than the top bottom spaces, or the bottom two spaces, I should say. Then fill the rest of the area in with bricks. These will be the two outer rows, like this and that's perfect okay so this is what we want to do take out your bricks and place bricks in front of the bottom to center bricks like this coming out by one in front of the entrance place a polished and site on top of that top brick take that polished and site go left of it by two and go right of it by two then extend it down to the ground on either side then Take the polished and sites behind the two center bricks, destroy them. We then want to take out our stone brick stairs and place stone brick stairs on the outer corners of the and site entrance and on top of the corners. We then want to connect those stairs together. 
with stone bricks. We then want to place a layer of stone brick slabs on top of the entrance and then an additional slab above the centre block of the entrance. We then want to extend out the entrance by one layer with our stone brick stairs. Like this. We then want to place some stone brick uh, some stone brick slabs also coming out in front of the entrance, including that top center one. Place stone brick stairs underneath the entirety of the roof of the entrance, so it'll end up looking a little something like this. And that looks quite nice and quite fancy, doesn't it? Well, once you've got that taken care of, the rest of this is going to be included later, so we just only really need that little entrance thing there. And once you've got that taken care of, for the sides of this thing, let me just have a look at what we're doing on the sides. For the sides of the entrance, it's actually quite simple, so... Uh, connect the sides together, the bottom of the sides together with a layer of stone bricks like this. So you just want on the ground a layer of stone bricks. Take out your regular bricks and you want to do inside of each one of the four little quadrants of the entrance on the ground floor and the second floor on the left and right. You want to do a row of bricks inside of the little quadrant that you have. And then above the bottom layer of bricks and below the top layer of bricks we want to place polished iron inside. Inside the polished stand in site, we want to have a layer of white stained glass pane. This is left of the entrance on the ground floor, right of the entrance on the ground floor, same thing for the second floor. So inside each one of these, we want to have windows. It's, it's quite simple, isn't it? That's, that's all we want to have. And I do believe that we are going to completely take care of the entrance, and we might take care of the, shall we call it, the complicated part of the roof, before we move on to the more mass production side of this, which is going to definitely... And definitely the more mass production side of this is going to be when we fill all of the walls in, because they're all quite easy, really. And when we actually fill the proper roof in itself. So we'll just take care of all of the difficult bits. Why don't we get those out of the way? And then we can focus on the more... Uh, the more easier bits, so that we, we can just kind of like, once all of the hard stuff's done, we can just kind of like, stay around in autopilot, and we can just build and build and build. So, we're just doing the little parts next to the entrance, and you know what, something that will make this easier is, I, I, I wish that I would have done this before I started work on the entrance, so, let me just finish this first of all. Okay, so, that is what you want to have for the entrance, That's that's almost complete. But we are lacking just one thing. We're lacking the roof of the entrance, aren't we? So to complete it, this is what we have to do. So coming all the way up to the top left-hand corner of the entrance, we want to, on top of this outer corner, we want to place a stone brick. Then we want to do two upright diagonals with that brick. That will be one and that will be two. We then want to go right by four. That's one, two, three, four. We then want to do two bottom right diagonals. That's one. Two. We should connect to the opposite side of the roof. We then, can you see below us what materials we have? So like in the center we have bricks here, and then either side of the center we have polished down in sight, and then on the sides of that we have glass, like this, and then on the outer parts we have bricks. Well take each one of those materials and apply it to this little window that we have right at the top of the entrance. And once you've done this on the front of your building, you actually want to come all the way to the very back of the building, and on top of this center back section, we want to do pretty much the exact same thing. So on the parallel part on the back, we want to, on top of this left hand corner for instance, we want to go up by one, do two upright diagonals, that's one and two. We then want to go to the right by four, that's one, two, three, four. Then do two bottom right diagonals, like this. Except in this instance, all we have to do is kind of just like fill the center of this in with bricks. So we just have to fill the center of that in with bricks rather than any fancy materials. And what we also want to do is coming to the very top center part of the prism, we want to on top of the center square of the prison right here, kind of like in between the front and the back, we want to take each one of the four corners of the center square and we want to raise them up each by three. That's one, two, three. And this will look like buh, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we can kind of just like connect each one of these blocks together. So we just want to have kind of like a little square coming out of the top center part of the prison. This is how you're going to get onto the roof of the prison. Then coming all the way back to the entrance here, this is what we want to do. So 
So now, on the outer part of this block, we want to do a row of stone brick stairs that connects the front part of the prison to the back part of the prison, except you want to, when you get to this center square coming out of the middle part of the roof, we want to leave this open space alone, and then place a stone brick stairs here, so again, on the outer part, so leaving the empty space alone. And then we want to continue connecting the front of the prison to the back of the prison, so can you see where that separation is? Once you've got that first row taken care of, we then want to do the same thing to the next row. So steepling upwards, we want to do a layer of stomach stairs. This time, it'll actually hit the side of this center part. So we then just want to move through to the other end and then continue the row of stairs leading to the front part of the prism. Then for the final row here at the top, we want to have the final row of stairs and this should once again hit the center part of uh, of, of, well, the center part of the prison, and we just want to have something which should look like this. Do that on the left, do that on the right hand side. So we're now on the opposite side of the prison now, we're going to take this block and we're going to connect it front to back. This is the row which we have to be careful about, we have to make sure that we don't cover up any of this empty space, because once again, that's going to be how we actually get onto the roof of the prison, so we don't want to cover that up because that's the only exit or entrance however you want to see it, to the roof. Entrance to the prison if you're a ninja, exit to the roof if you're just a regular guy. So we're just adding in these layers of stairs, like... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like this, so we kind of have like both of the base parts of the roof taken care of. What we now want to do is, with our stone brick slabs, we just want to add a layer of stone brick slabs that kind of like fills the empty void at the top part of the roof. So if you can see what I mean, we just want to run rows of slabs that just fill in the top empty part of the roof. This will take a little while because there's quite a few of them and the prison's quite long, but you want to cover the empty space up with slabs, and obviously you don't want to place any slabs like out of bounds, you don't want to place any slabs like coming off weird off of the roof, so just fill in the empty space and you shouldn't end up with any weird looking structures, so you don't want to place one like here for instance. We've just got two more rows of this to do, including this one, and then we can focus on the, shall we say, fancier parts of the roof. There's nothing particularly fancy about this roof, but I, I think that that's probably the word usage. It's, it's the fancier looking part. And what we also have to do, once you've covered up like the center part of the roof here, um, if you just come to the sides where we do have this little center part of the roof, just fill in the empty spaces here with stone brick slabs and make sure that it's all even like this. So make sure that the roof is all nice and smooth with your stone brick slabs. So we want to have something which should look like that. And what you can also do is you can fill the little exits out onto the roof. You can fill those in with bricks and you can also knock out the two center blocks. So leave the two center blocks alone if you like and then fill the rest of the area in here with bricks. So we just want to have something which should look like this and that's going to allow us to get onto the entrance and if you want to make it look a bit prettier you might want to add some much needed glass pane actually like not right next to the entrance but in the center of them um, the area inside this room is going to be very very dark because it's small so instead of adding more torches you might want to add windows like this and that is the easier part of the roof taken care of now for the more detailed part of the roof, we just want to make the stone brick stairs overhang the actual roof itself. So we just want to make the stone brick stairs overhang. And the same thing applies to the slabs. So, and then we just want to do upside down stone brick stairs. And this will, for instance, be the. Oh, no, we just have to. What do we do here? We add more slabs. There we go. That's. Um, where is that? How did I do this? Oh, oh, I see. I see what I did here. So, slab, slab, and then slab, slab. So, we want to have an entrance which should look a little bit like that. Pretty easy. Once you've done that on the front, do that on the back. So, we're on the back, and we just want to, once again, make all, each one of those stone brick stairs overhang. And we want to do the same thing with these slabs at the top, and then we want to do upside down stone brick stairs. Except this time we're just going to fill the top in completely with slabs like this and then we'll do the underhanging stone brick stairs. So we want to have something which should look like that and obviously not too fancy looking. It is a prison. It's not supposed to look amazing. So... Once you've got that taken care of, this is what we're going to do next. So that's what I would call one of the harder parts of the prison. Now, take out your stone brick stairs. 
Go all the way around the base of your prison with your stone bricks. You just want to connect the entire base of the prison with your stone bricks. This is something that I wish I actually did earlier before I began work on the entrance. But this is going to help us a lot and it's going to save us a lot of time a little later on. We just want to connect the entire base of the prison together and it's just going to, like I said, it's going to save us a lot, uh, a lot of item switching because there's not very much stone brick actually involved in the walls of the prison. So... We just want to do a layer of stone bricks that's right at the base of the prison, connecting everything together. So it wants to look a little something like that. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So let's take care of the more unique walls of the prison. So coming to the very left center hand side of the prison, this is what we want to have. So we want to have an entrance which allows us to take the prisons out into the yard. The entrance is shaped like this. It leaves three empty spaces alone, big enough to fit three doors in the center of this bottom center panel. We then on top of this row of five and site that we have here, we stack a layer of white stained glass pane. On top of the layer of white stained glass pane, we stack a layer of polished andensite. All the way around this, we do a layer of bricks. And this is where the entrance is going to be, or the exit onto the yard, whichever way you want to look at it. That's how it looks. We're also going to have the same on the opposite side. But first, for the little panel just above this, we want to do a layer of bricks that goes all the way around the center of this panel, or all the way around the outside of this panel, I should say. And then in the center of this, we want to do... Uh, the bottom center, a layer of polished andensite. The top center, we want to do a layer of polished andensite. And then filling in the two rows, we just want to do two rows of white stained glass pane. So we just want to have something which should look like this. And that is going to be the exit slash entrance onto the yard. Once you've done that on one side, guess what? We do the same thing on the opposite side. So on the opposite side, we come all the way over to the opposite side here. We do the same thing. So entrance onto the yard, we want to have a little archway of polished and then sight. We want to have enough room for three doors right in the center leaving two spaces each we then want to on top of the entrance we want to do a layer of white stained glass pane and then we want to do a layer of polished and then site we then want to with our bricks just fill the rest of the area in with just regular bricks like this destroy that extra one then above this we want to have a window so it's going to be a square of bricks going all the way around the inside of the framework and then we want to do a layer of polished and site at the bottom layer of polished and site at the top and then we want to do white stained glass pane um, to fill in the window so it wants to look a little something like that that's perfect now Moving on to the back of the prison, and I do have images for this, where are we? So moving on to the back of the prison now, the only unique back part of the prison is the back two center panels. And funnily enough, it's the exact same thing that we've done two times before. So for the back center part of the prison, we want to once again have an entrance slash exit out onto the yard, which is going to be enough room for three double doors right in the bottom center panel. We then want to place a layer of white stained glass panel paint on top of the door and then we want to do a layer of polished and site and then everywhere else is going to be if i can place this and site there we go then everywhere else is going to be bricks so just fill bricks everywhere else like that then for the window above this all we have to do is again just do your layer of bricks going all the way around the inside of this thing and then you want to do a layer of polished and site at the bottom and a layer of polished and on site at the top and then connect those two rows together with white stained glass pane. The, these are the only unique parts of the prison, the front, the back and those two middle sides. All the unique parts. What we now want to do, and this applies to every single other one of these panels, so like these back eight panels, these side four, the opposite side four, the front eight we want to do this inside of each of them and i am going to start on the front so all we have to do to complete these parts we want to do a layer of bricks inside each one of the individual like rectangular shapes that we have around the prison this applies to the ground floor the top floor we want to do a layer of bricks inside them we then want to do a layer of polished and insight inside of the bricks like this 
Then we want to fill the center of this area in with iron bars. And these are just going to be like barred windows. Very simple, nothing complicated. That is one. We'll do the same thing next to it. So just left of the entrance here where we have this little rectangle shape on the ground floor, we'll do our layer of bricks. Then our layer of polished and insight. Like this. And then we'll do our layer of iron bars. So we want to have this for every single one of the other empty rectangular shapes around the prison of which how many eight plus eight that's 16 and then there's four on either side that probably comes out to a number close to about 47 about 24 but that is what we want to have all the way around the prison I'm not going to include me doing this in the recording because it's going to take a while and it's unnecessary because it's very easy I'm going to go away and I'll be back once I have done this to every single other side of the prism. I'll be back in a second. All right, so as you may see, I have filled in every single one of those rectangular sections of the prison. You may notice that the ones on the side of the prison are slightly larger than the ones on the front and back of the prison. That's okay, that's normal, it's supposed to be that way. You still follow the same procedure for filling them in though, so I didn't feel the need to mention it beforehand. Once you yourself have got every single one of those little sections filled in exactly like that, this is what you want to do next and this isn't particularly fun but it's got to happen so with your stone brick stairs can you see the halfway point of the prison can you see where it's kind of like bisect can you see where it's kind of like where it's kind of like cut in half top to bottom where we have this row of stone bricks well in front of this row of stone bricks we want to do a layer of upside down stone brick stairs going all the way around the outside of the prison this will take a while. We want to go all the way around the entrance. We want to go all the way around the back, each one of the sides. You guys get the point. We want to go all the way around the outside of the prison halfway. So we just want to have this layer of upside down stone brick stairs. And on top of this, we're also going to stack a row of iron bars. This is just to make the prison look a little bit more secured, it's to make it, I mean, it, it's just kind of like barbed wire, that's kind of like the idea. Not only does it kind of like cut the prison in half a little bit, not only does it make it look a little bit interesting, but once you've got the stone brick stairs in, which look good all by themselves, add some iron bars on top of them. And once again, that's just barbed wire, it kind of makes it look a bit more secure, a bit more secured. It looks like there's a bit more added security and it just makes it a little, bit, a little bit more interesting to look at because it also breaks up the colours a little bit. This prison is pretty dull to look at, admittedly, but it's supposed to be that way. It's not exactly supposed to be a nice colourful building and I'm not sure that there are prisons out there that are nice and colourful. If there's a rainbow coloured prison out there, um, I'd, I would be highly surprised, actually. I'd, I'd be highly surprised. I'd, I'd, I don't know if that exists. It's not exactly supposed to be a nice place. It's not supposed to look like a nice place. And I uh, I, did, I didn't exactly design it to be as such. So um, we just want to have the layer of iron bars on top of that layer of stone brick stairs. What we now want to do is this. So we want to, starting from underneath each end of the roof here, we want to have a layer of upside down stone brick stairs that kind of starts at each end of the roof this is the front and back part of the roof and it goes all the way around the very top of the roof as well so you want to have a layer of stone brick stairs which comes out of the top of the building and it kind of like starts and ends with the front part of the roof and the back part of the roof so just a bit of an example it just wants to look a little bit like that on the back for instance and you can see all the way to the front there and we want to have the same thing here so i believe it is it this way no it's the opposite way isn't it so it wants to look like that and then it's just upside down from there going all the way around the top of the prism what are we going to be placing on this guess what barbed wire in the form of iron bars once again it just it adds a little bit of extra security it makes it look a bit more interesting and that is there any do you need another reason 
No, I didn't think so. So we just want to have something which should look like this. That's perfect. That's the roof. We now just want to, on the outer part, so like the parts that obviously aren't like that center middle roof, we just want to stack the iron bars on top of it. And once we've done this, we'll actually be focusing on... Oh god, we've got to do that, haven't we? That's not going to be fun. We're going to have to fill the very top part of this roof, the open part of the roof. We'll want to fill this in with our uh, stone bricks. Uh, not going to be fun. Going to take quite a while to do. So, yeah, we'll probably be doing that one off of recording. But once that's done, that's the... Mainly the building of the prison done. Uh, all we have to do now are a load of fences and stuff on the outside and the watchtowers. So once you've got that taken care of, you can see that we now have it. that added. Pause this if necessary if you're still working on that ghost. Probably should have said that a little earlier as well. This is what you want to do next. Fill in the very top of your prison roof with your stone bricks. There's no other real thing to say other than that is ju just just fill the roof in with stone bricks each uh, each one of these big giant empty holes that you have either side of the middle part of the roof fill that in with stone bricks it's gonna take a while the roof is pretty big so uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna be back in just a moment once I've filled it in for myself once you yourself have filled in the stone bricks we can then progress on to the next part but completely fill these two empty areas in with stone bricks and then we can talk about it so I'll be back in just a moment guys I don't want to have this part of the tutorial because I think this is gonna be long enough as it is alright so as you may be able to tell I have completely filled in the roof with stone bricks it wasn't as painful as I thought it'd be but definitely way too long to include in the tutorial. Once you yourself have got that roof completely filled in, you should be left with something that should look a little bit like this. This is most of the prison complete, actually. Once you yourself have got that taken care of, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that, of course, you now want to do this. So, all the way around the prison, we have fences and we have a watchtower on each one of the four corners. To build these, we want to take out our polished iron site and come all the way to the entrance first. So, we want to take, can you see these two front corner stone bricks of the entrance? With our polished standard site, we want to extend these coming out in front of the entrance by 22. So, this block here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Do the same to the opposite one. I'm pretty sure that that is 22. So, there's no real need to worry about whether we've got that right or wrong. So, 22. It can be shorter, it can be longer anyway. It depends on what you want. We then want to take these outer blocks. So, these... 20 second blocks and we want to extend them like this left one going left and that right one going right and we want to extend them going left and right each by each by 30 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 bam like that what we now want to do is take this 30th block and with your stone brick stairs, kind of like looking at it like this, so looking outwards, the direction that we were building. So take this 30th and insight and extend it going left and right each by three with your stone brick stairs. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Then take each one of those third blocks and going that away, we want to extend them going, well, that way by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the other one will also be, if we can get to this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Connect those six blocks together and what you'll have is the base of one of your watchtowers. So, what we want to have, coming out of each one of the four corner of the insides of our watchtower, we want to have rows of 12 stone bricks. So that'll look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we want to have the same coming up from each one of the other four corners. Plus, we can also connect them together at the top. So, we want to have something which should look, and this will take a second, especially if I'm not even placing the stone bricks in the first place. That'd be a bit silly of me, wouldn't it? Um, we want to have something which should look a little bit like that. Perfect. Uh, we're now going to need another material. We're going to need ourselves some um, cobblestone. I'm using silverfish cobblestone, not that it matters, but I'm using silverfish cobblestone. It, it doesn't matter. And what we want to do is, inside of each one of the four sides of our watchtower coming up, we want to have layers of cobblestone coming inwards from each one of the stone brick 
um, layers. And then the very center of your tower wants to be filled in with polished andensite. So it's kind of like cobblestone, cobblestone, andensite in the center. Do that for every single one of the sides of your watchtower. So just fill them in like this. Polished andensite in the center, cobblestone everywhere else. Probably the easiest way to describe it. And once you've done that to each one of the four sides, which I haven't yet, but I'm almost there, once you have got that done on each one of the four sides, you have the base of your tower almost complete. What we now want to do is this. With our stone brick stairs, we want to, leaving four andensite on the bottom of our tower. So like these four middle andensite that we have here, one, two, three, four. We want to leave those four bottom andensite alone and then we want to do upside down stone brick stairs coming out of the center of this tower. So going all the way out the center of this tower, we want to have a layer of upside down stone brick stairs. We then want to have a layer of regular stone brick stairs placed on top of the layer of upside down stone brick stairs. This kind of just cuts the tower in half, makes it look a bit more impressive to be honest with you. What we then want to do is coming out of the top layer of stone bricks we have at the top of the tower, we want to have a layer of upside down stone brick stairs. So coming all the way around the outside, we want a layer of upside down stone brick stairs. Then, on top of each one of the four corners of our watchtower, we want to have rows of four polished andensite. So that will be one, two, three, and four. And this will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Connect those together with layers of upside down, I said upside down, upside down stone brick stairs. So connect them together at the top with layers of upside down stone brick stairs. It might take a second or two. Now, for the outer parts of the watchtower, the parts that you'd actually be walking around at the top, uh, what we want to do here is we want to do a layer of stone bricks that kind of like goes all the way around the top and bottom part of the watchtower, if you guys understand. And then on top of that, we want to have a layer of iron bars. So we want to have a layer of iron bars that goes all the way around the top of the watchtower like this. Then for the very top roof part of the watchtower, we want to just one row above where the andensite ends and one row outwards, we want to have a layer of stone brick stairs that, as I said, goes all the way around the top of the watchtower and this is going to be the roof. And then the roof of the watchtower is going to function exactly how you might imagine. Uh, the roof of the watchtower to go. It's going to go all the way around like this and then it's just going to the next layer is going to be one row inwards and it's going to be one row higher and it'll go round and round and round and round and round and round very much like roundabout and it'll eventually uh, turn into a bit of a peak. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do the roof here and then we're going to, <laughs> a material that I actually just remembered. We're going to take out our glowstone. We're going to fill in the top of the watchtower and the inside part just to light it up a little bit. So just keep going around. Just keep doing the... <laughs> God, I'm so bad at this. Um, just keep doing the roof of the watchtower. It might take a second or two, but you'll eventually reach the top and you'll end up with... Oh, God. This, this really isn't going very well, is it? So we'll end up with a bit of a point here which we'll just want to fill in with stone brick slabs. So that is the top of your watchtower. And then for the actual, we can't get in this, can we? So we'll just destroy some bars. And then for the top part, we're just going to fill it in completely with glowstone. So um, just like this layer here, we're just going to fill this in with glowstone. Um, you could do it to the layer just above it, just to kind of um, create a little bit more 3D, create a little bit more space. But um, I'm just filling the top part of this in because it's not that important. Who's going to be going up the watchtowers? So that is pretty much the first watchtower. There it is. Quite simple, isn't it? And um, on top of the polished and site rows, we're going to be adding a fence, but we'll do that much later. Watchtower number one, complete. Let's do watchtower number two. We have two additional ones after this. So, with your polished and site, we want to take this 20 second block. We want to go to the right of it by 30, if you guys remember. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. We then want to take that 30th block, extend it out left and right each by 3. That's 1, 2, 3. 
one, two, three. Take each one of those third blocks and extend them going outward still by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that we have to do the other one by six, so we may as well just form the square for ourselves just to save a little bit of counting and time. So that's the square of the watchtower. We then want to take each one of the inside corners and raise them up by 12 with our stone bricks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I think that's 12. We're going to count that out again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, okay, perfect. That's uh, that's that's 12. Uh, we can then connect them together at the top. Um, not that it matters. And we can just do the other rows now. So I'm not going to count out the other rows. I'm not insane. I don't really want to count to 48. So uh, we're just going to do all of those rows, connect them together at the top like that. Then, if you remember, we want to do a uh, cobblestone on the inside parts of the rows of stone bricks. And then we want to fill the very center of those rows in with polished and sites. So, just fill the outer parts in with cobblestone. And then fill the center in with polished and site. Let's come to the front here. Right cobblestone then polished and on site here so we just want that on the front on the outer parts and on site and then we can work on the actual like watching part of the tower i like to think of this as the tower part of the tower so we want to have something which should look like that then take out your stone brick stairs and do a layer of upside down stone brick stairs going all the way around the top of your tower and we are forgetting something can you guys remember a step that we've missed I'll show you in a second. So we just want to go all the way around the top of the tower like that. And what we also want to do is we want to have the upside down layer of stone brick stairs, which leaves a row of four polished and sites. So you want to leave like the four rows of the first four rows of the tower alone. So one, two, three, four and site. And then you want to do your regular facing stone brick stairs on top of that layer of upside down stone brick stairs. So we just want to have something which should look like that. Then, on top of each one of the four corners at the top of the tower, we want to do rows of four and on site. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. Then connect each one of those fourth blocks together with upside down stone brick stairs. This may take a second or two or three. So connect them all together with upside down stone brick stairs like that. We then want to do a layer of stone bricks all the way around the top of the tower, connect each one of the four corners together and also stop in anyone from falling off. We then want to do a layer of iron bars going all the way around on top of those stone bricks, like, like this. We then, with our stone brick stairs, want to one row higher, one row outwards in relation to the tower, we want to do a layer of stone brick stairs that goes all the way around the top. And then all we have to do is of course keep building and building and building and uh, we'll just eventually end up, as long as somebody doesn't go crazy, um, we'll end up with a finished roof. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to fill the top of this in with glowstone because I'd have to do that later anyway. And this will stop me, oh look I forgot one of the iron bars that would have been convenient. Um, and this will stop us from having to fill this in later and get stuck and have to destroy blocks and stuff. So we're just going to build up all of these stairs and this will form the roof. And once we've got this taken care of, we're then going to move on to the back two towers. Once the back two towers are done, we'll focus on the wall, the Donald Trump wall, as I like to call it, to keep everybody everybody in. And then we will, um, then we'll be done, actually. We'll be done with the actual building part of this. And then we'll have to talk about the interior, which is going to be no fun whatsoever. It's not going to be a fun interior. It's going to be awful. So let's just finish the roof for this. It wants to look a little something like that. So identical to the opposite tower, hopefully in the exact place on the other side. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So come all the way to the back center part of the prism. And with your polished and site, we want to take each one of the back two corners of the back part of the prism. So 
this corner right here, this corner right here. And we want to extend them back with our and site by 22. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And you know what? You actually don't have to do the other row. This row of 22 is really um, just to measure out the distance. We don't actually want to have the end in sight here. So um, you can leave the outer row alone, but... You can destroy that inner row because we don't actually have a fence back here like connecting the back fence to the prison if you guys understand. And what we then want to do is we want to take the very end blocks of the end and site so you can see that this end and site it lines up with that other corner. We want to take each one of these outer blocks and we want to extend it out each by 30. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 30 perfect what we now want to do is this extend that 30th block going left and right each by three that's one two three and one two three take each one of those third blocks and going that way we want to do rows of six that's one two three four five six and then we want to kind of just like cut out the middleman here and we just want to form the shape of the tower on the floor what we can now do is this so can you see where we have that tower on the front Knock out this center stair, place an andon site there. Connect that andon site all the way to the front tower. Now, if this hits the center block in the front tower, then we know that we've placed these in the correct position. If it doesn't hit the center block, well, we done goofed. So it wants to, perfect, there we go. So it wants to connect to the front tower like that. That's what you want to have. And obviously, we're now going to build up this tower, do the same on the opposite side. So, for this tower, corner blocks, stone bricks, up by 12. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. And we just want to do this to the other four corners. I didn't actually plan on doing this four separate times because the towers are identical. But I do think that the towers are kind of complicated enough that I think that you guys would actually benefit from me actually counting this out God knows how many times. So just giving you a, a little bit of a reminder because um, honestly, despite the fact that I actually designed these towers and remember to fill the outer parts in with cobblestone on each side and fill the center parts in with andon site. Uh, despite the fact that I designed these towers, I uh, until I'd built them like four times and really got stuck in my head, I didn't know how to build them either so i imagine that you guys are in a similar position unless you've got a much better memory than i have which is highly possible my memory isn't fantastic um so we're just going to build all of these together why not and then we can focus on all of the walls which are going to be lovely 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 walls um so once the actual tower part's complete we now want to come to the watching part and we want to do a layer of upside down stone bricks coming all the way around the top of the watchtower We'll then go on top of each one of the four corners by four with the andon side. That's one, two, three, and four. And this will be one, two, three, and four. Then the other two corners, one, whoops, uh, uh, oh god, we're just leaping things left and right. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, four. Then we do a layer of upside down stone brick stairs going all the way around the top here. So let's go all the way around the top with our upside down stone bricks. We then want to do the layer of regular bricks going all the way around the top part of that tower. And on top of the bricks, we're going to place a layer of iron bars. Just to keep reminding you, layer of iron bars here, just so that nobody falls off. Nobody wants any accidents. Nobody wants to have to go through a lawyer, sue somebody because there wasn't a safety rail. That'd be awful. Let's fill the top of this in with glowstone to save us doing it later as well, because we would have to do that later. And, you know, I don't want to. So we'll do that. Uh, then we just have to do the roof. So the roof's actually quite simple. We just do the layer of outer stone brick stairs. Maybe, maybe we mess up a couple of times. Just two. There we go. And then we do the layer of stone brick stairs going all the way around the top of the tower. It eventually steeples. It eventually reaches a nice little bit of a point and this will be tower number three leaving us just one tower to do afterwards which uh, honestly this is my least favorite part of the prison I have to tell you guys this this is my least favorite part of the prison to do to do these watchtowers I don't like doing them I uh, I don't like doing do they look good I actually I, I think so actually I, I do quite like the towers aesthetically but building them is what I would describe as little to no fun uh, as I would describe quite a few of uh, these larger builds, little to no fun. And you know what, I'd, after you've spent all of this time building a prison, uh, you do get a little bit irritable towards the end, I find. Or at least I do, recording it. Maybe it's because I've already built this thing once. 
maybe uh, maybe that's it. But um, this will be Tower Numero Frio for quatro, qu number three complete. Once you've got that third tower done, move all the way back over to this opposite end and side. So this is the end and side that should line up with that corner on the back of your prism. Extend this out by 30. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28, 30. Perfect. Take this 30th block. Extend it going left and right each by 3. That's 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Extend each one of those third blocks, going that way, by six. One, two, three, what? Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can just cut out the middlemen here, can't we? So we can just do uh, row six here. We know that's row six. We used the previous one. And we can just form the square on the floor. We want to take this center block, knock it out, replace it with an insight, and we want to see if this thing connects together. Because if this thing doesn't connect together, if this thing doesn't connect together, I don't know what I was going to say instead. If it doesn't connect together, to say it a third time, we're going to be pretty angry. We're going to be a little bit upset, just to say the very least. And it should, boom, connect to the center part of the front right-hand corner tower. And there we go. It's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Quite lovely. Let's come back and let's finish this tower. We take each one of the four corners. We raise them up by 12 with our stone bricks. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we have the measurements for all of the other four. And then we're just going to connect them together at the top. I'll increase the... There we go. I'll increase the size of this one now. So these two are right. These other two are either right or wrong. That one's right. This last one, this is a little bit too tall. We'll knock out that block. Um, destroy that stone brick. That might not have to go there. There we go. So we have the basic shape. We then want to fill the outer parts of the tower in with cobblestone. And then we want to fill the center part, the center of the tower, in with polished andensite. So... We'll just go all the way around here. We'll fill the outer parts of the tower in with cobblestone, as I keep saying. And then we will fill the center part of this in with polished and then sight. This will take a second or two, won't it? I think that this might be my least, you know, my second least favorite part of the tower. My least favorite part of the tower, if I'm going to talk about that, uh, is the roof. Uh, the roof is my second least favorite part. Or is it my least? You know what? I don't know. They're both pretty awful. I'd both rank them as both one in terms of fun. Um, that's the outer part. We now just want to do our row of upside down stone brick stairs going all the way around the top of the tower. So we just want to go all the way around the top of this with our stone brick stairs upside down, of course. Then do rows of four polished and then sight on top of each one of the four corners. That's one, two, three, and four. And this will be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Then we want to do upside down stone brick stairs to connect each one of those fourth blocks together. So we just want to connect each one of those fourth blocks together with upside down stone brick stairs. I just destroyed one. I just destroyed one. Why would I do that? For what possible purpose? Okay, perfect. And then we want to do stone bricks on top of the outer stone brick stairs that have nothing on them. We just want to do stone bricks. On top of the stone bricks, we want to do iron bars. Once again, nobody wants to get sued. If you end up in a wheelchair, that's completely your fault because there are iron bars. We then want to do a row of stone brick stairs going all the way around the top outside part of the tower. So I'm using slabs. I'm using slabs. It's been a long tutorial. So we want to now stack up the roof and we just want to do the layer of stone brick stairs going all the way around the top of this thing, which might take a while or two. We also want to fill it in with glowstone. So we now just want to fill the top part of this in with glowstone and then we can continue on with the roof and then we will be pretty much done. So there we go, glowstone. Now we want to do stone brick stairs again just to finish the roof and then we can talk about, you know what? So we'll just continue building this in the regular manner and then and then this will be the fourth watchtower done. Joy. Oh joy. Oh god. I, I'm so happy for this to almost end. I really am. It's the watchtowers, it's depressing. You know, they're sat out there in the towers with their guns watching the inmates and it's a little depressing. It's almost like watching my wildlife, I imagine, with, with shivs. Wildlife with shivs, I imagine, is uh, is like being a is like being a security officer at a prison. So there we go, we have the roof of the fourth and final watchtower complete.
You know something that I actually almost forgot is we have to do the layers of stone brick stairs that kind of go like halfway up the tower. We actually forgot on the opposite tower. So for the layers that go halfway up the tower, we want to leave a row of four and in sight at the bottom. So that's one, two, three, and four. Then we want to do the upside down layer of stone brick stairs. And then on top of the upside down layer, of course, we want to stack the regular layers. So we just want to have the upside down layer and then the regular layer. And this is just the thing that goes halfway up the tower, makes it look nice and fancy. We, oh, we do have it on that front left hand, or the front right hand tower, I should say, which is good because I didn't want to have to do it a third time. So that's the first one. And then we just have to do it on these in this opposite one because I forgot about it. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then we can just add a layer of upside down summary stairs here and then the regular facing and now or after we've done this i should say uh we'll work on the fence uh we'll work on the fence of the prison so let's just get this taken care of perfecto now we have all of that added to the towers that is each one of the four towers complete so once you have each one of the four towers taken care of this is what you want to do next on the left and right hand side of the prison we have exit slash entrances onto the yard we want to take the bottom two corners of the entrances slash exits and we want to do and in sight so we want to do and in sight coming out of each one of those so we want to have something which should look like that do that on the left hand side and let's do it on the right hand side as well so coming to the right hand side we want to each one of the corners do layers of uh, polished and in sight so here and that will be here as well. Okay. What we now want to do, on top of the Andon site that we have going all the way around the prison, this is every single one of those Andon sites, ladies and gentlemen, we want to stack two layers of iron bars, and we want to stack then a layer of upside down stone brick stairs. So that'll look like this. That'll be one iron bar, two iron bar, and then it's going to be hard to do without any other blocks here. So we'll just have to boop, boop, and then we'll have to... There we go. An upside down stone brick stairs. It'll look a little something like this. So why don't I just show you... Oh, that's not upside down as usual. Okay. So it'll end up looking a little something like this. And the upside down... Stonebrick stair wants to kind of like be facing away like that. And it wants to go all the way around the outside. It wants to go anywhere that the Andon site goes. The upside down Stonebrick stair slash slash the iron bars want to go. So it will connect all of the towers together. It will connect the front of the prison together. And remember, underneath each one of the Stonebrook stairs or on top of the Andon site, however you want to look at it, connecting them together will be a layer of iron bars. So this will go all the way around the prison, like I said, on the sides, on the front, on the back, it connects everything together. It stops the prisoners escaping and it'll end up looking just a little something. This is just a bit of a teaser isn't it? Oh, we've got one to place there. Um, it'll end up looking a little something like that going all the way around. I'll be back in just a moment once I've done that to every single one of those Andon sites. Remember, two layers of iron bars, upside down, stone brick stairs facing kind of like away towards you like this. I'll be back in a moment once that's been done for myself. It'll take a while. So as you may or may not be able to tell from this very high bird's eye view, all of the walls of the prison have been put up. That's all of the iron bars and that is all of the stone brick stairs. Remember, two layers of iron bars and two layers of stone brick stairs. And it kind of connects together in this sort of pattern right here. It just follows along all of the anon site. Once you yourself have got that taken care of, and obviously you might want to pause this if you're still working on that, we can then add the finishing touches. So there really isn't left to do, I promise. All you have to do now is you just have to do the entrance onto the front of the prison, the back part of the prison, the left and right, and then we'll call it a wrap there. So what you want to do for the front part of the prison, we just want to add a couple of layers of polished and sight coming out in front of the entrance, followed by a layer of stone brick stairs. So just enough room that you can actually walk up into the prison like that. Very simple. You want to do that on the front, and you also want to do that on the back. So coming to the back here, we just want to do a couple of layers of polished and sight that kind 
kind of like span this center part right here and then we just want to have some stone brick stairs right in the center of those so let's say come out by three rows with your whoops that's a bit lopsided isn't it so you want to come out by about three rows with your polished and insight like that and then you just want the center outer layer to be stone bricks there so you can walk up and in and out of the prism you want to have a very similar thing on either one of the sides so on the sides here maybe you just want a single step down maybe you just want stairs maybe a little bit less fancy for each one of the two outer sides oh wow i i can't believe i i actually forgot to do part of the iron bar work so give me a second let me just actually you know what let's why don't we complete this part together so i actually because there's so much of this and because it's kind of difficult to see whether it's actually been done, I uh, I seem to have forgotten some of the iron bars on the right side of the prison, but that's okay. There's not that much of it. I don't know how I missed it, actually. I've, I've actually got no clue how I'd possibly miss that. It should have been glaringly obvious. But I even done some of it on... on I, I even did a little bit of it on the lower bit, and then I must have just forgotten about it. I guess something, I guess something must have distracted me or whatever, but... Those are all of the entrances taken care of. And all we're going to have to do is... This is a bit of a silly thing and you would have worked it out by yourself, but uh, we're also going to... Can you see here, like, where we have these side entrances out onto the yard? We're just going to make spaces so that you can actually walk out onto the yard like this. A bit of a silly thing, but you might just want to knock out the two middle blocks on, like, either side. I think it's two middle blocks. Make sure that there's an even amount of space. Yeah, there is. Just knock out those two middle blocks, just so that you can walk in between, like, the yards like this. And you just want to do that on the... That's the right-hand side of the prison, and you just want to do the same thing on the opposite side as well. So it should be, let's say, these two middle blocks, I think. Um, leave these stairs intact, but just destroy the under sites, these two, and just destroy the bars and you'll just have two nice little entrances leading onto the front part of the yard and the back part of the yard and everything will connect together and once you've done that once you've done the walls once you've done the nice little bit of the entrances everything like that you should end up with a big giant prison compound that should look exactly like this i like the bird's eye view of it quite a bit because it shows you how big and connected it all is and how kind of like impenetrable it is so hopefully you guys also like the prison Hopefully you've managed to make it, and if you've done both of those things, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a favourite, a share, anything you'd feel like doing to help me out, I would always really, really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We don't just make things like this on the channel, we do loads of different things. We do houses, we do pixel art, we do statues, we do anything that you might be able to think of. It's not just, it's not just real world buildings like this, it's loads of different things. Stuff that you might not even have thought about. Check it out, subscribe. Plus, if you subscribe, you'll find it easy to find the interior tutorial for the prison. This isn't the end of the prison. This is just the building, this is just the perimeter. I'm also doing a video to show you how to decorate the inside of the prison and also the yards and a bit of the road outside and stuff like that. So you might want to subscribe, check that out at a later date. It's not going to be coming too far behind this tutorial itself. Also, I'll be leaving a link to that in the card system and in the description below when that becomes available. Comment down below, do you like this? Would you like to see some other buildings? Suggest some other stuff that you want to see me make. I'm always very, very interested. What changes may you have made to the prison if you built it yourself? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Like, favorite, share if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. You've got nothing to lose. Comment down below. Let me know how you like this, what else you'd like to see. Check out the card system for future interior and exterior work. All of that. That'll also be in the description. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.